Good morning everybody, it is day two of Castro Vision, it is practice day riders are on track and checking out the black snake. So uh, before we get started and film anything, got to say today's video is sponsored by Mud Hugger. And uh, I was thinking everyone was going to be needing their mud huggers on today, but actually the sun is out and it is shining bright. But it is forecast for rain later. So Mud Hugger, they make a selection of different mud guards, they make kit bags, they make some riding glasses, they make loads of rad products. All things that I run, I use and I'm really happy with. So if you are keen on running any of their products, you can use discount code CATH10. This is it here. Discount code CATH10 can be entered on their site or the European site as well. There's a link for that down in the description. You want any mud guards, any kit bags or anything like that, I'll just go and check them out. They make good stuff. So let's go check out this track, see what's going on. I can't wait. Let's go, come on. Hello. Don't know if you saw that, but I think it was Ravelli. Went straight across the grass, straight over the back of the berm, and then joined on. It's so funny how you just blinkered to the original worn in track. Hmm, wonder if you could do that fast though. Oh, he clipped out in there. <laughs> So what I'm going to try and do this morning is during bee practice I'm just going to work my way down and try and do one clip next bit, one clip next bit, work my way the whole way down because usually what happens is I get so excited I'll just film one section for like the entire practice session but no, ruthless, one clip move, one clip move. I'm trying something a little different here. I just want to show you the whole track without too much interruption to give you the best picture of what riders are dealing with. Let me know if it works. Evidence of tire marks on the inside. Don't think anyone's ridden over the boulder yet. They're playing it safe. They're saving it. They're saving it for later. <laughs> Did you see how close that last boy got to the tree? Right, I'm getting distracted, need to keep moving. I've done both, haven't I? So yeah. I, I like both. What have you? What like middle and outside? So I've done high, inside. Oh. And then I've done high, like just make like just wound. Yeah. They're both good. A little disappointed. Not many people are doing the inside here. I thought it was going to be more of a 50-50 split, but I think that's because the inside is just so much harder. There's way more obstacles. It's easier to go faster on the outside. I think the good boys are going to make that inside work pretty good. Yo.
I'd say this track more so than any other this year commands serious respect. Some riders are on the third run now and no one is really letting it go. Everyone's like holding it back, just figuring things out before they really uh, give it a bit of speed. Bit further next time. No one seems to be doing the gap from last year. Everyone's just smooth down the right or right to middle. Ah, cheers, chaos. All right, we're almost at the bottom now. Just the last steep bit to go. So not too many people are doing the inside over the stump, but those that are, aren't making it look that good. <laughs> it can be done nicely though, if you go over the stump, pull right early to get round the rock into the corner, you're able to keep the flow. If you don't do that, the corner at the bottom is super tight. Ooh. Medical guys are all chilling, they don't know what to do. 
That's because it's been a pretty pretty calm morning on the hill. One of the calmest ones I've seen because people are not wanting to attack on this track yet. So yeah, B practice winding down. I'm gonna edit these clips and then we'll head up for A practice when the rain's due to come. That should be good. Cool, right, that's the first part of the video mostly done. So I gotta get back up the hill. A practice has been going for about an hour, so they should be up to speed. The rain has not started yet. Honestly, all week the forecast has been saying Ali, it's gonna rain! The Valley of the Sun is it's living up to his name. Uh, <laughs> that's actually good. I don't I don't like this idea. Okay. Rid, talk to the UCI, they'll say it's fine. Dude, like call, like call, call again. Like where's safe? What's up? Like, here good, here yeah. good. So where can you, where can you stand? That. Here? And then, no. over. <laughs> Stop yelling. Like over there? Yeah. People are more likely to hit me here. Go on, give, give, it, give us your line, line breakdown of this bit. We're, we're uh, well, just try and avoid some of these big holes that are coming out on the main line. <laughs> and uh, come down this left side, Sorry. straight down the left, and over this rock, hop into there, and uh, see you later. <laughs> yeah. Easy. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hello. Mr. Hey, ciao, eh? Ciao, ciao. Hey. <laughs> yeah. All good. That's, that's the tip for the day. <laughs> you sorted, mate? Yeah. Yeah, good. So this is the first technical section on the hill. There's a few different options here. There's a fully wide line that you drop into and scoop around to line you up for the next drop. There's a middle line that takes you directly through some really big compressions, then you corner off the drop Some people jump the compressions for style points. Okay. Then there's an inside line with a couple different entrances that then goes over a very square edge rock. It's actually this rock that I want to talk about. Somewhere absorbing it, pumping the bike through and then off the drop. To do that, the rider stands up tall before the rock, slightly unweighting the bike. The arms bend to help the front wheel up and over while they shift their weight forwards to then unweight the back wheel even more. As the back wheel comes up the rock, the legs bend to allow the back wheel to come up and over, while at the same time, the arms are pushing the front wheel down to the ground. Finally, once the back wheel is clear of the rock, the legs straighten to place the bike back down. Simple, eh? The main thing to take from this is just watch the bike. Up and down, following the ground beautifully. Now, watch his head. Barely wavers from a straight line. This is what pro riders are amazing at, keeping the upper body stable while riding over the gnarliest terrain. But pumping the bike like that is a lot of work. Is there a better way? Of course, gap it. First thing you need is more speed. Danny obliges with that. Danny opts for the ride into the square edge and control the kick the best you can while pushing the bike forward. It's a bit of a heart stopper, but functional. Henry Fitzgerald's a bit more sneaky and uses a different takeoff. There's a small stump with a smoother edge for a more consistent takeoff. You do have to jump further, but it's pretty nice. Bruni goes for the slightly more graceful version of Danny's jump. He unweights his bike before the rock edge so he can absorb it better and then float over the gap gracefully. Very smooth. Now here's my favorite. 
Francesco Colombo bunny hops before the rock edge, skims across the top of it to give him a little bit more lift, and then just tags the drop as he touches back down. Lovely. Definitely the hardest one to do as the timing is super precise. I'm sure you want to know what was fastest. Well, the inside was best, and here's the two quickest, Bruni and Colombo. They both take the same line, but Bruni slows down less before the rock and pulls away as he goes over that gap. He takes it by a quarter of a second. On to the next section. So on the entrance to this section, there are three main lines. There is a fully inside, which is new this year, and it's very straight, so most riders are tending to default to that, because, you know, straight is good. There is a middle line, but it's got a few obstacles in it, so not many people are taking that one on. And then there's a fully wide line, which seems like a long way around, but it does allow you to then go high in the next section. The rut on the low line is getting deeper and also a rock is getting more exposed on the inside of it. Riders are starting to graze their pedals and chain rings on it so that could get worse. Those that are getting it good are rotating the pedals out of the way so they can sneak past. Going into the next corner there is a standard middle line which most people are doing. You can vary it a little bit by going a few feet to the left or right but we're just going to say that is the middle line. The high line is a little trickier to get up onto. Like I said you have to do that wide setup to get there but it does give you a wider line into the next corner which in theory should give you a faster exit. Ooh. It is chunkier to get onto. It is a longer way and the corner isn't in the best condition, so I don't know how much more exit speed it's actually going to give you. But yeah, let's ghost it and see. Here we go. Ladies first with Tracy Hanna and Marine Cabaru on the same line. Tracy backs off and Marine attacks through the compression, quickly pulling away. They both head down the middle line to the turn. Tracy's going to have to rail this corner to catch up. Ooh, she does a bit, but it's not enough and Marine takes it by 0.42. Next we've got Bruni on the inside middle and then Charlie Harrison going all the way round. Bruni immediately surges ahead on the much shorter inside line while Charlie sets up to go high. Charlie lines things up and he's going to have to decimate this turn to catch up Bruni. But he can and he finishes 0.67 back. Now for the fastest two different lines. Trummer on the inside and I think it's Baptiste Pierron on the middle. They enter their lines and immediately Trummer has a bike length on Baptiste. They both then funnel into the middle line and we know how this is going to end. Yep, looks like under the current dry conditions you'd be a fool not to do the inside. But this track is changing and as I record the rain is coming down. So we don't know what line's going to be fastest tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to <laughs> Been a crash. <laughs> you see it? No, I didn't. No. no. So a nasty crash has taken place further down the hill and that's stop play for the snow. I'm going to take that as a sign to get out of here, get this edit done and get it uploaded. So thank you very much for watching. Make sure if you did enjoy it, you hit the like button, let me know. Subscribe if you want to see more of them. And I'll see you tomorrow. It's the pink bike video inside the tape. That'll be over on their channel. So I'll see you that tomorrow. Do not forget, if you're after any Mudhugger products, use discount code CATH10. There's a link over to their site in the description. Get on to that, get some products, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.